It's now time to reveal the media's choice, and that is the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines, John Beeline. He led Michigan to its first outright Big Ten title since 1986. Even more remarkably, he did so after losing two first-round picks to the NBA and then seeing a first-team preseason All-American go down with a season-ending injury. The Wolverines won 15 conference games, their most since 1993. They will be the top seed in India, the Big Ten tourney. That is also a program first. The Wolverines knocked off every team in the Big Ten for the first time in more than 20 years. All that enough to get Beeline a conference coach of the year nod for the first time since he was at Richmond in 1998. And the media's Big Ten coach of the year, John Beeline, joining us now from our studio in Ann Arbor. Coach, congratulations on your individual honor. What does it mean to you to win this award? Uh, it doesn't mean anything. It is, it, it, this is a bit, the Big Ten, uh, you know, a Coach's uh, Award of the Year, I think, is Tim Miles' award. That, that, is, uh, that is a great honor for him. He's been a tremendous coach all year long. What he's done with that program has been absolutely terrific. So really pleased for Tim and his staff. Uh, that being said, Coach, obviously the media voted you as their Coach of the Year. And I think often Coach of the Year equates to the coach whose team did more than we thought they would award. Uh, where did you expect this team to be this year? Well, that, that, and that's the point. I think that everybody uh, makes so much of different awards. You know, uh, uh, as a coaching staff, I know our, we want to be on a coaching staff that is the team of the year and the team of the year is the one that wins the Big Ten championship and we were able to do that so we're, we're thrilled for our team for our university for everybody that we were able to win this championship you lost two first round picks of course and then you have a preseason All-American in Mitch McGarry and as I often say when we're talking about this I mean there are only five of those guys right in the whole country yeah, and you lose yeah, one yeah. of them how surprised are you that this team got to this point well, knowing that we had some great leadership, uh, that was one position that I thought if we did lose someone, we could survive uh, because we had Jordan Morgan, who had already won a one Big Ten championship. Uh, he has had uh, three NCAA, uh, he's been to three NCAA tournaments, he's been to the Final Four, and he's played a lot of minutes. And, and then John Horford, who probably would be a starter or backup for a lot of teams, waiting in the wings. So while we were really uh, disappointed for Mitch, this was a great opportunity for the next man up. It's still a very young team at this point, John. In fact, in power conferences, only Kentucky gets a higher percentage of its points from underclassmen than you guys do. How steep was the learning curve for this group, given its youth? Yeah, I think that uh, because those, so many of them were be able to play early as freshmen, um, that they and they learned they were they had a great um, basketball IQ all our guys have, have really shown us some some valuable assets there so as a result we were um, we were blessed to have guys that as we continued as you go through this thing there's a big difference from freshmen to sophomores and then we get two freshmen in Zach Irvin and Derek Walton who are uh, really they were probably as good as anybody we've ever had at picking up what we do uh, and and as well as defensively learning throughout the year. But Nick Stask is obviously such a huge part of this success coach. What has stood out to you the most about his evolution? Uh, he came into this year really as a as a guy you know last summer we were I called about him getting in some of the big camps in the summer nobody was interested uh, he was uh, he was he was a guy that people felt that he was uh, he just out there probably good a shooter only that was playing with Trey Burke and Tim Hardaway and uh, I think we knew better and he wanted to prove it he spent his whole summer here uh, in the weight room just as much as on the court uh, works at, he and Karis Levert spent the summer in the gym and and I'm talking about 16 weeks of the summer in the gym and they did a wonderful job of on their own in developing their own individual games and getting stronger. Big Ten Coach of the Year, according to the media, John Beeline with us here on BTN Live. So now you head to Indianapolis this week as the number one seed. What's your message to your team as you turn the page from the regular season to the postseason? Well, I think it's important that you look at this and you go into this thing with a, with a mindset that you're playing to win. A, you, you only have so many times in your life to win championships. 
and so we got the regular season championship. Now we have another chance to win uh, in Indianapolis. Uh, be sitting there. I, I tried to frame it up for our guys. I'd love to sit there on Sunday afternoon with with a champion with more more of the, more of those Big Ten championship hats on and see where we're going in the NCAA tournament. The media's coach of the year, John Beeline, congratulations on your award and on a great season to this point, coach, and we look forward to seeing you this week in Indianapolis. All right, Dave, thank you very much.